Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of St. Stephen, the first martyr. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we, we are all invited to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, they have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify you, you we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
Grant, Lord, we pray, that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians, and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven, and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Please stand. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand over you to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, 
and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them in the pagans. When they hand over you, do not worry about how you are to speak or what are you to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will be not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. Mother, brothers, and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang pagbati po sa ating lahat. Isang maligayang Pasko po sa ating lahat. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating the second day of Christmas season. The season of joy and a season of love. And we believe and we are convinced, my dear brothers and sisters, the concrete way of God's love is with us now. Ang pinakahihintay at inaasam nating lahat, tunay na buhay sa atin, tunay na ibinibigay sa atin. Kagaya kahapon, my dear brothers and sisters, para pong ayaw natin matapos ang buong araw dahil sa ating pagdiriwang ng Kapaskuhan. And my dear brothers and sisters, let us now embrace Jesus in our life. Let us now rekindle and continuously express our love to Him. The day after the Christmas, every year we celebrate the Feast of St. Stephen, the proto-martyr of our Christian faith and one of the most revered of all martyrs. This is tragic sin in, in general. We must be wondering why is it that in such time and season filled with joy and celebration that is this Christmas, then surprisingly shift just right the Christmas Day celebration and now who come to celebrate the great feast of one significant martyr of our faith, whose act of his suffering and death was truly one of the terrible and painful. At the same time, he was falsely accused by his enemies and all those who sought to silence him and was stoned to death. Saint Stephen, my dear brothers and sisters, was described in our first reading of today as a person filled with grace and with wisdom and power of the Holy Spirit. The story of his last stand and defense for the faith in his martyrdom, he eloquently stood off for the Lord before his accusers and accept, accepted death with faith. This was Saint Stephen embracing Jesus that he believed the true mission of Jesus, his incarnation is to bring salvation to the world. That is the proclamation of true Messiah given for all of us. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, we should realize that Christmas is the gift to us and also a reminder for all of us that we are always invited to the full imitation of Christ, embracing our mission to do, even there are sufferings or trials, and we are called to stand for God. Don't be shy to give your life to Him. Don't be shy to give yourself to Him as your gift. We would say and believe, my dear brothers and sisters, that we have little strength, we have little courage, or little hope to stand or to show off to defend our faith. And even in the times that we are in trouble for the sake of our faith, 
remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we are not alone. That is why we celebrate Christmas. God is with us. Christmas is with us now, which means God is always with us. Emmanuel, don't be shy to share yourself to Him. St. Stephen was courageous enough to share or to give his life to God because this is the essence or the significant or significance of Christmas is to give, not only to receive. Receiving, my dear brothers and sisters, is an action of giving, not only for self-satisfying. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, Christmas is invited us not only for receiving or receiving as an action of giving, not only for self-satisfying. As always remember, like St. Stephen that we are celebrating today, we are also filled with grace and power. And we are all capable to be true witnesses of Christmas spirit. Christmas reminder for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, again, receiving is an act and an action of giving, not only for self-satisfying. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue celebrating the Christmas joyfully, the true essence and the significance of Christmas that we have right now, is self-emptying, like Jesus giving himself truly for all of us. May the spirit of Christmas truly manifested in us in our action, not only for this Christmas season, but every day. We are ready to give ourselves. We are, we are receiving the spirit of God, and we are ready to share with others, with conviction and courage to stand our faith. And this is truly the challenge for all of us this time. We stand off and we show off every day the Christmas spirit that we receive. We are filled with the spirit and we are filled with the power of God. Always remember, God is always with us. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, amidst of joyous season of the birth of our Savior, the Church reminds us of the cross reflected in the self-sacrifice of St. Stephen. Let us join him in our prayers for others. And every petition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That like St. Stephen, we may bring the joy of incarnation, even in our everyday trials and persecutions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may recognize the birth of Jesus by their effort to promote and respect human life and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like St. Stephen, we may be given the grace and strength to stand firm in faith to the end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the joy and confidence amidst the troubles of this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died for the faith may reap their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Father of glory and power, through the prayers of St. Stephen, grant the petitions we bring before you to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
these stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of St. Stephen the Martyr to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift off your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Stephen, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which our witness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their farthest gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will afford out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that heaven is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guardian to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Stephen, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the needs of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us for Please stand.
Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who saved us to the nativity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 